Hi, all. Welcome to Racks Infotech. In this video, I'm going to share you about the uh, Oracle Database 23 AI new version uh, for developer uh, purpose, development related version, which is released recently, uh, which has been like uh, earlier uh, Oracle has been released for 23C. They renamed that C cloud option to AI, artificial intelligence. Okay, Oracle 23 AI database installation, how we need to do it. And then the new features which has been introduced, there are like 300 plus new features they have been introduced, but we are going to see uh, like couple of uh, uh, important features in this video. Okay, if somebody uh, yet to subscribe our channel, uh, you can do that. If you are, uh, I mean, if you are getting informative information or videos related to this, Rax Infotech is our channel. If you are uh, interested, you can subscribe it. Okay, coming to the subject, 23C, which is released recently. And uh, later on uh, this month, they have been 4th of, 3rd of May or 4th of May, one day before or two days before, we got this update related to AI related one. So you can go through this definition, Oracle 23 database, now generally available on OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Oracle Based Database Services. Okay, these are all for uh, different, different uh, things. On-prem also, you can able to uh, install this 23C, Exadata, Exadata Database Services, Clouded Customers, ADB Databases, everything. Everywhere uh, we are going to use this 23C uh, database. So these are all the features which has been introduced in 23C and AI related things, the JSON one, JSON schema, schema level privileges and microservices support priority because uh, I mean, most of the organizations, banking sectors, they choose one of the application, their uh, web services and other things, microservices is going to support it. And uh, developer role also they're going to separate role. They have been introduced in 23C onwards and rolling patch. When you are going to use it, rolling patch, uh, drag and environment, we are going to see it, but the feature has been introduced in 23C. And then SQL firewall and so many things. You can go through it. And over 300 plus new features has been introduced. And uh, out of those 300, we are going to see a couple of things, right? JavaScript stored processor, which has been introduced. And the priority transactions, data use cases, domains, annotations, schema privileges, Boolean data types, developer roles. Okay, this, may, this one also, another one important for DBA perspective. This new features has been like for developers and some application users and DBAs individually. If you are on a DBA, you can go through this part. If you are in a developer, you can think about this JSON feature and uh, real-time SQL plan management also you can say as a DBA. Performance improvements, wherever uh, I mean they have been added some of the features and all, you can go through this performance. Lock free reservations. This is also an important thing. So these are all the high level things. If you want to say as part of that, what are all the new features you can go ahead and um, many features you can go through that Oracle uh, um, site there you will use to get it. Okay. Coming to our, uh, how we are going to download this 23 uh, AI database version. As of now, it is for developer uh, version. They have been released. So in 23 AI, we used to get three types of databases. One is Oracle database 23 AI and autonomous database 23 a container image and golden gate 23 AI images okay for more information you can i'll uh, give i mean i'll provide you this uh, url in my video description you can go through it so how to download this 23 ai for virtual machine i'm going to show you we used to have different operating systems red hat is there linux is there windows might be there like so we are going to use on virtual box linux operating system related thing for that, you can take this URL and browse it. In this browser, I have where it is here. This URL I already given, like I'll, I'll give you in that uh, video description, directly go to this uh, video and then you can able to download this 23i free virtual box of lines. So in this uh, thing will have a, I mean, having this uh, Linux 8.8 .8 and database 23i free version. These are all the services. If you are uh, uh, working on REST services or Ap Ap I mean Apex related things or SQLs related things, you can go through these things. These features has been introduced in this uh, 23i as well. The appliance, virtual box appliance, all these things together, they have been given. 
and system requirements are these things at least 20 gb free space you should require and 4 gb ram is required for this so for documents and all you can download these things from the site directly i'll as i said i'll give you this uh, url in video, video description as well if you don't have a virtual box uh, in our uh, videos uh, in our channel i have given how to download the virtual box and how to install uh, you can go through there and then you can do that as well as of now, we are going to download this Oracle DB develop, uh, developer VM related thing. You just click on it, it will download it. Okay, it's around 5 GB, 5.7 GB. This I already downloaded, so I don't want to use this again. Okay, you can just click over there and then it will be downloaded. Once it is done, follow the step two. How to import on virtual machine, file import uh, appliance and then I'll show you that. Here. Once you have been downloaded the virtual machine and installed the virtual box, after that you can download this Oracle DB developer one. Once you're done with that, go to the file, import appliance, choose the file where you have placed. I have placed that in D drive, DB software, VM software here. I have 23AI software, this one. This one I have downloaded. See, the download portion is there. It is passed. I want to cancel this Oracle database 23 AI free. Same thing right here. Oracle database 23 a free developer thing that only I'm going to take it okay open it then click on next here you need to choose wherever you have 20 GB free space that drive uh, you can able to choose it I am going to choose uh, D drive here I used to create one 23 C or 23 AI I used to mention AI okay in this location I am going to install so remaining thing you can keep uh, default values if you want to increase the RAM also you can do that as well. But yeah, you can go with the default things. Generate the new MAC IDs and finish it. This is the terms and conditions you can read it. Okay, and then plus agree button. It is going through import. It is going through. I mean earlier I have installed in different location the same thing. For demo purpose I'm going to show you this. It will take like uh, one or two minutes. It won't take much. Yep. According to your system speed, it is going through that much. Uh, later on, if you want, you can like uh, adjust the memory. It's 4 GB is minimum. If you are going with more, you can go ahead and then click on this part as well. Suppose if you want to increase 4 GB to 6 GB, 8 GB. Likewise, you can increase it. That is also possible. Okay. But as of now, it is not required. I'm going to reduce it to 4 GB or 5 GB. That's okay. Meanwhile, it is going through. And I'll show you the steps also. See, go through the virtual machine file, import appliance, and then choose the location or the file where you have downloaded this file. Vara file, OVA file, not the Vara. It's a OVA file. Then click on next. Agree the terms and conditions. Agree to licensing related to import and all. Then it is going through importing. Once that is done, you can click on this free developer VM, click OK. Go ahead and then shut down and restart it. Allow the boot and start, I mean, see, and start a process completed. This is a simple thing. It won't take much. OK, I'll show you very simply. Don't go with, yeah, it is imported, 100% imported. This is our newly imported one. It is having 4 GB RAM. As I said, if you want, you can increase the RAM size 6 GB. I have given. That is fine. Now you can start it. Once the import is done, you can start this one. It is going through. Yeah. Our 23 AI free developer tool has been imported and is going to start it. Let it be maximize the screen. Here, only one thing which we need to do. It says of now while it is going to import it, right? Your screen will be very small thing here in between, like it's a medium one thing. For that, we need to do a different like some of the things let it be and one more thing all the passwords including the root for developing uh, developing uh, developer uh, free developer thing password is oracle for everything even though you are going to download from the site you can use oracle is the password for oracle user or root user oracle is the password let it start yes thing is done right this is a licensing thing and SQL, see here, everything has been placed, everything has been installed here only. Okay, our uh, this thing also be there and browser level. So you can go through this one. These things automatically came to uh, this one. 
they have been uh, opened. See here, we are unable to read these things, right? Let me do one thing. I'll select this. Uh, what I can do is I'm going to install where it is. Guest editions. If you install the guest editions and then reboot the system, or else it may able to open this big thing. Run the guest editions. It will ask you the password, provide you the password, Oracle or anything. Password is Oracle only. And guest editions, if you install it, right? This will, small window will be there. It will come normal window, full skies, full screen it will come. User friendly windows. Let it be, it's almost done. See here, virtual work guest editions, kernel things has been, will not be replaced until the system is restarted. We need to restart the system after this. Finished. Yeah, it is done. Let me press enter or else you can close this window. We can do one thing quickly. We can power off this machine. Okay. Power off this machine. Done. Now we can restart it. Or else you can use init zero also connected to root user and then do the init zero. Until unless you are not going to do the restart of that machine, the kernel things which has been updated, those will not be uh, applicable or impact. Once we restarted, this window will come as a bigger one. User friendly kind of one. That's it. Yep. It is coming. Let it be. We will do maximize also. We'll see it. Minimize. Then maximize. Yeah, it to be. Yep. It is coming. Then maximize the window. I'll do one thing, whatever it is. Let me minimize all these things. Browsers, everything. Let it be. Let me maximize one more time. Minimize. Close this. Open up. Let it come. Let me maximize. Why it is not coming? We got the big screen, right? So that's the thing. If you want to see this completely big one, uh, virtual boxes, you are going to install it. Then uh, installation part is completed. This is a root user. If you want to see which IP it is going through, that is for our uh, admin perspective. If you want to see it, you can see those things. Uh, IP is this one, 10, 0 to uh, 115 is going to running. That is fine. Now what we need to do, uh, we can connect it to Oracle user or else you can exit from here. Exit from here, and then this is our what are all the services running? You can see it. Okay. Let me maximize it. See, this is our database name free. Free is our database, uh, I mean, SID name. And if you want to connect to this server and do your uh, development uh, related things, we can use SQL plus. Okay, we used to have uh, those things here in uh, starting itself. Okay, in the same uh, startup page, you have you get all the database information. SID name is free. Database, uh, pluggable database name is free PDB1. All passwords are Oracle. If you want to connect with PDB, you can connect with SQL plus option. I'll show you that as well. Okay. Everything they have given here, it's here itself. Any one of that user you want to connect. System user, if you want to connect. SQL plus, system username and password. Local host, you can connect like this. Okay, copy SQL plus use this, paste it. See here, show user, select version from V dollar version DASC version select banner from. V dollar version 
See our database version is this release 23000 and 23i free release for this. Yeah, you can do your uh, normal things. What are all the things we are going to do it? All the development related things, you can able to do these things. Okay, that's all about this, how we are going to install and all. You can uh, install in very simple like way. Uh, like it's like 10, less than 10 minutes, you can go, to, go ahead and do that if your internet is supported. Thank you. Have a good day.